Alright guys, we have Kyle here, D-Led. Yeah, um, Kyle, D-Led, the lead better land of German Constitution. Um, how has training camp been going for you since the point? Training camp has been going well. I just, I've learned that in the NFL you have to compete every day. Well, I wouldn't say compete every day, but just learn how to find a new way to win every day and com you, you compete with the best, so you got to put your best foot forward. Yeah, and what, um, how are you approaching the studying part? Looks like just from my perspective, they're putting a lot on your plate. Just mentally having to lock in when the, when the day is over, go home and spend time in my playbook and make sure that I know my assignment. Well, how do you uh, handle you know, the expectations or, or, you know, or, or what you want to do on your own? Uh, my expectations are just to just come out and be a, to be the best player I can be every day. I don't really like to listen to the you know outside noise or let it get to me. So that's just something I kind of block out and hone in on myself. Scott, have you uh, always been good at kind of tuning that out? It's so hard because everybody has a phone now. But um, do you really try to keep your your eyes focused here as opposed to what's being said? Is that sometimes difficult? Is it so accessible? Well, I think it took time to learn just to you know not be able to. I mean, just to be able to you know read what. You need to read and don't worry about the other things because they don't, you know, we have different things going on in the building, so just worrying about what's going on in the building. Bye. Yeah, you're here on the floor about obviously kind of learning everything. So what's the one thing that you feel like surprised you once you got to camp? That you were like, I wasn't really expecting it to be this or that. I would just say from high school, to, you know, then you get to college as fast. Then you get, like, it's just a step faster at every level. So it's, you have to play very fast and, you know, be attentive. So you. That's it. Was it one play, one game, all of a sudden that speed? Uh, I would say OTAs. And it was just, from then, I was like, all right, it, it, everybody's fast. So you have to show your speed every every, every play. I want to say it changed anything, just kind of let me know certain things. Sorry? Yeah, kind of like what you said. They're all on the same page, and they're all Matt's telling me from a player standpoint, you know, where he where he may put the ball or where you know how it could shape out. The coaches are telling me from like a technical standpoint. So just being able to put those two together and you know perform. I think it's coming along pretty well. Just every day coming out here, you know, doing as best I can to be in the right place at the right time. Allison? Uh, it might be slow to ask, but you haven't played any actual games yet, but did you have like a welcome to the NFL moment in training camp yet? Or like, a, a, I don't know that you're not, not in college anymore, but like, did you have that moment in training camp that you were like, oh, this is cool? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just kind of like a feeling that you get when you get to the NFL and you see everybody that's running as fast as some of the linebackers. That was kind of a welcome to the NFL, just seeing how everybody is fast and runs to the ball. And what would make um, Friday's Like you accomplish, like more successful. Like, what do you need to see from yourself on Friday? Just going out, playing fast, executing my assignment, and you know, doing what I can do to help the team. Kelly, who have you learned from the most? Has it been a Matt Ryan, a veteran guy, or a coach, or maybe Hayden Hurst or something like that? I can't say there's been a one specific person because there's been a bunch of people that I kind of go to for tips and details, like Hayden, Lee, Calvin. Russ, all those guys that have different type of flavors in their game. So just to be able to learn and you know put all that into one and you know help me be the best player I can be. What is one of the biggest things that you've maybe taken away? I mean, you mentioned the speed has been kind of an adjustment for you, but what else is maybe something you're like, oh, I never really thought about that? Just like speed and awareness, you have to you know be aware of where you are on the field and you know who's all around you. Jacob? What's kind of something off the field that's surprised you the most since you got drafted and started working in camp? I would say sleep. I never realized. Like, I have been asleep by 9, 30, 10. That's, that's the time you need so you can wake up feeling fresh. 
like in college you used to sleep late and you know just run off of pure athletic athleticism but here you can't you have to get sleep recover take care of your body and you know take care of your playbook kind of following that real quick so what time were you going to sleep in college and like like how did that mess with your circadian rhythm it would just fluctuate from about 10 30 to 11 and then now it's I'm in the bed at 9.45, I'm going to sleep at 10. So, so it wasn't like this drastic change where it was like, oh, I was going to sleep at like 2 a.m.? Uh, you know? I mean, 9.30 is pretty early for me because, like, <laughs> I'm just settling in the bed. So. <laughs> is that something that, did someone advise you to do that, or was that something you picked up on your own? I, I, uh, yes, and myself. One, it was just one night in OTAs. I, I guess I couldn't sleep, and I woke up. Like kind of drowsy, and I was like, okay, I can't do this anymore. I got to figure a way to get better sleep and wake up and perform at my highest level. When did you, you get to your 50s, Kyle? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're, you're a tight end, really. I mean, how, how much do you guys push each other, whether it be in the film room, whether it be on the field? What do you say about that group as a whole? It's like we're all selfless. So, and it starts with Lee, one, you know, the oldest guy in the room. He's someone that's like a mentor. Another coach that's in the room, and he he all he sets the standard. Him and Hayden are the two older guys in the room, and they make sure that the younger guys like all us are paying attention and fast on the field and like little things to help us win. Do you like? And then last one for Allison. Uh, yeah, just um, Cal with Calvin uh, Johnson going been going into the Hall of Fame. He said his first year, you know, when they caught him Megatron. He didn't really feel like Megatron, but the next year he he felt. As he got more comfortable in the league, he felt like you know he, he can you know fit that description. Um, you know, a lot been said about you being the high tight end, taking overall. How do you you know just push that off to the side and just try to do what Kyle can do? Just like you said, just push it off to the side. I mean, that day was that day. I'm blessed to have it and you know be have those accolades, but it, that was over. So now I'm here, trying to you know make make myself you know best I can be every day. So I've been giving you a nickname. No. <laughs> no. Allison, last one. Um, are you gonna have friends and family there at the game? Yes. Okay, now I remember more questions. Um, <laughs> so I can't remember it. Like, well, you know, since you were drafted, it has. You know, we talk about everything you've been getting used to on the field. But what's it been like for you, just seeing people kind of wearing your jersey out and about, and so excited to see you play? It's pretty cool. Like going into some. I think I went into Liz and seen my jersey, and I did, I just like was like. This is real. It's kind of like shocking, you know, to have my actual jersey in the store and people buying it. So just seeing the people walk around is pretty crazy. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. All right, thank you.